Okay, so in this video we'll show you how to make bratwurst at home. Of course we need meat first. I have pork belly and pork shoulder, but you can also use different cuts. Uh, the important part there is the meat to fat ratio. Same with the spices. First of a German one with salt, marjoram, pepper, mace, allspice and then also coriander seeds if you want. And then on the other side I have a beet dill mixture, reduced red wine fresh dill, beet powder, nutmeg, pepper, and salt. Okay, let's start. The first thing you always need to do is to cut your meat into chunks. Uh, the size can vary. Um, you can do cubes, you can also do strips. I prefer strips because it's easier to grind and the size varies depending on how big your meat grinder is. And afterwards, you can put now the meat into the freezer for one to two hours. This will make the grinding process also easier. Speaking of which, now it's time to grind your meat. Uh, you can decide on the perforated disc you want to use. If you have like a smaller one, the bratwurst will be finer. If you have a bigger one, the bratwurst will be coarser. I now took the medium one because I like a coarse bratwurst um, better than like a fine bratwurst, but that's completely up to you. The next step then is to mix the meat mixture together with the spices. So I get one in the one bowl and then the other one in the other bowl and then it's super important that afterwards you mix the mixture like very hard right don't be shy uh, go in with your hands or like a food processor um, mix it for two three minutes it needs to bind because otherwise the bratwurst will not work it should look like this so you have like a one piece of meat and then it's time to actually stuff the sausage for this get a sausage stuffer or an attachment for your meat grinder you put on the casing, again, the size of the casing is decided by you. I here have hawk casings, uh, caliber 28, 30, and these work well to actually make a very nice bratwurst, like you probably know it, that size. So first get the meat mixture till it comes to the end and then stop it and then tie in a knot so the mixture won't get out. And once your bratwurst is tied off, you can now get in the mixture step by step. Again, here you can see why a sausage stuffer is easier because uh, for the meat grinder, I always need to stop and then push it through. However, it also works. Uh, this needs some time. Perhaps the first time it won't go as good. Um, as you can see, like here, this happens. Don't worry, it will taste great anyway. We have a huge sausage and we need to get links out of it. For this, you spin the sausage like in to the front and then the next sausage to the back. This way the sausage links will be tied off and you can then cut them afterwards. So as you can see, you now have links and you can now either fry them or also freeze them. I, for example, now fried them and have them on a plate. Here it is, the magic of the internet, the final sausages. Uh, let's taste them. First, the traditional German one with a bit of mustard. Yeah. I can completely say it, yeah, it's great. It has like a very distinct taste of the marjoram. I really like it. Now the beet dill one. Very good experiment. Yeah, I really like it. If you want to have the recipe, it is uh, below the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe and also give me a comment. Did you make bratwurst already? Would it be the first time? Just let me know. Uh, happy to see you till the next video. Bye bye.